You have another story for me? Uh, I was at the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. What was your role in that? I personally took out the Terramorphs, pretty much saved the day. Wait, wait. I heard someone from Constellation was involved. <laughs> that was you? Oh, this is great. Like, embarrassingly important award-winning great. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? About life, when everything is on the line, every moment seems like a gift. You never know quite how precious life is, until it's under threat. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck the whole you see, owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. I won't rest until Terramorph threat is ended. That makes me feel better. I feel like such a sap, but it does. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. Awesome. Fly. Our visitor, you'll find the ambassador in our office. Go on through. That's not it. Always good to get back to Free Star soil, even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. Hey. 
me. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? You seem like a lady who wants to stop more terror morph attacks. Well, I've got a deal for you. What are you? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Really? An explorer's club? Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here, who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City, or Neon. The results would be bad, or, let's be honest here, far far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Ko. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, the way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? Are you serious? They just attack on the city. You're really not going to help us? No, Captain, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport, I've lived that once before already. Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my home and others all throughout the Collective. But my aliens were placed there by UC hands. So I'm not interested in anyone getting power like that ever again. The UC most of all. What if I told you that Terramo couldn't be weaponized? Will you change your mind? You have my answer. Now, please take the hint. Mm. Did I not make myself abundantly clear, Captain? You're not getting access to the archives. Please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to say. You're really going to push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. Thank you. Just hear me out. I'm listening. Be the person the galaxy needs, Ambassador. There's a lot of scared people out there right now, and I could do something about it. Something good can we come out of this bad situation, the UC and the Freestar Collective cooperating. A step towards better relations. I could see some value there. Well, Captain, you, you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm going to need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar Fair. scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Uh... Yeah, agreed. Excellent. Follow me. They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. 
We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. Two unlikely allies, I guess. Okay. People often mistake rivals for enemies. We don't have to like each other to do the right thing. They have mixers for expats at the embassy every now and then. Only place you can get some good old Aquila City beer. Gotta make sure there's no mags on there. Well, this is not look good. Is it supposed to look like this? With the room, you just never know. Poison Advanced Nova Light, nice. Grab everything useful.
Yeah, this kind of sucks. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? 
Mm, do you think do you say that thing pouring out clouds upstairs called a venom tree? Is it poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Is that what happened here? A power surge? I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were then, hmm? Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown. Trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Was the rest of the city spared? A spaceport is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. <sighs> is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Correct. We're going to use the archive to better understand and stop these attacks. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Knowledge can't be evil? What about the knowledge of, say, gunpowder? <sighs> A fine counterexample. Responsible for the deaths of millions on ancient Earth. And... Uh... Fireworks? Absolutely capable of being put to violence, but not evil in itself. And here you are with a similar conundrum. I might be willing to support you if I knew I would not be tarnishing the legacy of House Varun by doing so. That's an impossible request. I can't know exactly if this will all play out. We cannot know all the results of one section, certainly, but intentions, those we can command. I want you to assure me yours are noble ones. Yeah, my word. I'll make sure it's used for good. For whatever it's worth, Sam Co here. You got my word too. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Let's hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good. I fight more terror morphs. They give like 4k XP per kill. Please.
Fly. back sooner than oh, oh wait did did you actually succeed with Radcliffe and Balmore we're all in agreement Balmore's alive thanks to yours truly and yes I got his code you saved him you Vanguard really do take that above and beyond thing seriously don't you fine work and now I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? There may be UC soldiers in the archives, but missteps down there, and it's not you they're going to be helping. Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Thank you. Fly. God, the brains. I was going to do in here.
keeping the skies safe out there? Oh, God. Evening, sir. There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Action. Now, is the answer to stopping more attacks really in here? You're carrying the most comprehensive collection of information on Terramorphs in the known universe. If we can't pry an answer out of there, it likely doesn't exist. Certainly doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but we're not going to know until Percival and I dig in, so whenever you're ready. I made some want to promise, Hadrian. Can you assure me this data we use for good? I... yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... this is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. We're getting a house. We're getting citizenship. Mm, this is fantastic. This is great. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Does this doesn't mean I can't be a citizen elsewhere? It doesn't. We don't really care where else you might have been or might become a citizen. Once you earn your place in the United Colonies, it's yours. Remind me again why being a citizen is a thing? Well, only citizens can own property in New Atlantis. We also pay a discounted rate at any United Colonies merchant. And all citizens receive an ample credit disbursement upon joining. I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? I've really got to do all that? To the best of your abilities, yes. But I think you can manage. So, will you let those values guide you as a citizen? Sure, whatever. Good enough, I suppose. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here. Your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs, and they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. 
Oh dear. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Absolutely not. Ask me my name. Who are you talking about? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Sure. I'll take it to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike he, any other. Vindictus is an invisible here. enemy. Lurking Whatever. in the shadows. Bay Victus? You're going to need all the help you can get, which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Hmm. Given the amount of security, I say you're someone pretty important or dangerous. Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Fanon. Yay. But most know me as Ve Victus. So obvious. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes, but the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard so they put me here a sacrifice on the altar of peace so they kill a clone even my death served the colonies so what do you do to warrant my execution the official charges i faced after the war were twofold the first was the destruction of civilian ships during the battle of cheyenne a battle during which those civilian ships were actively attacking my fleet. The other was ordering the bombing of the Londinian spaceport to halt the spread of the Terramorph outbreak there. The city and its citizens were lost, but countless others likely saved. And for doing what was right, I was put on trial. And my life irrevocably changed. But you see fake your death then. One final act of rebellion by the leadership that lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor. And considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Hmm. Definitely one of the chattier girls I've met. Shared with you the nature of our 
little family. She told me your clones, yes. Uh, did she? Or their clones. So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Can you tell me more about the cloning program? It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy. Forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians. Trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies, displayed incredible promise. But by the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. You have much more pressing matters at hand with which I can help. <laughs> Not every day I get a chance to work with a man living in a fish tank. Keep talking. After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. You track down war criminals? People like you. How does that work exactly? Personally, and I've always had a mind for details. Where someone was born, next of kin, you'd be shocked how often an otherwise brilliant criminal flees to the planet just next to the one where they were born, or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. Go on. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him. However you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Why have me do this? Why not hand over the one of your members to recovery team? Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this might be something of a tryout. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Um, how about I arrest him and turn him over to UC? You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Hmm. I'm not killing anyone, but if he's actually as bad as you claim, I'll consider bringing him to justice. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. 
Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Pretty good place, jeez. You know, normally I don't like working with just anyone. Next time. Captain, did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. Some old guy living in your basement. I could do that. Exactly. Just another prisoner. Nothing you'd ever even think of bringing up in conversation. With anyone. Ever. We understand each other. Why hasn't Hadrian been told about this? The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. Hmm. Sure. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for <laughs> any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? I'm going to be a hitman. First target, Reginald Orlais. Uh... We're not big on extrajudicial killings, but bringing Orlais to justice? That man's been on the run for a long time. Catching him would be a major success for the UC. What's being offered in return? Are you actually considering this? Allowing you to kill someone on behalf of the prisoner? Absolutely not. But taking the chance to bring a known criminal to justice? Well... The old man's been right more than a few times in the past. So, what's being put on the table here? Location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Uh, what are the chances of I'm being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. I'm supposed to head to the Den. Anything I know about that? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Didn't have anything else. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain. 
and remind you of the importance of discretion. Let's go get my house. And then we'll call it a stream. I had to go early today. Sadly. Oh, it's you. Never a better time than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. If you're a citizen, of course. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? Hmm. I like to find a place to live. Mm, I don't blame you. It's a lovely city. The crown jewel of the UC. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. You have any property outside of Lunar New Atlantis? Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. I'd like to hear about what you have for sale. Well, first of all, let me just say congratulations on becoming a United Colony citizen. Let's see what we have available. Right now, I've got a little place in the well that's up for grabs. Needs some work, and the location is less than ideal, but it's a foot in the door, so to speak. I have a penthouse apartment in one of the residential towers. Ugh, I forgot. Government has dibs on that one. Uh, well, if it comes back on the market, I'll let you know. Sound like something you're interested in? I like to buy the apartment in the well. Great. It's very cozy. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll just process the transaction and make sure ownership is transferred. And the apartment is all yours. Congratulations. Anything else? Let's see what we have. I have a penthouse apartment in one of the residents. Damn. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis.
base suit.
paper? Oh my god. A towel rack? Why not? Put one right there. Don't know why I'm decorating this, but I am. Okay, I am. Put that there. Desk monitor. There we go. Standing mirror. Hell yeah. All right. This blaze. No. Oh, and these, of course. best right there. Space frog. Yes. Oh, we need a TV for sure. Just put one right there. That took about 12 minutes of decorating. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a day. I'm going to probably be, not be back today, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching so far. And we hey, we've done a lot of main stuff today. So... I'm excited for tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Have a wonderful freaking day. Goodbye.